Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to Eargasms, an audiobook review show where we delve into the world of contemporary and indie romance books that make you go, mmm. Please be aware that all the books that I review contain adult content, so you have been warned. And with that said, here we go. Today's review is Dodge, Finding His Jaw by PJ Fiella. The joining of Big Three and Ghost Securities on a new venture is the last thing Dodge Sager wants, let alone being partnered with a beautiful, strong, independent woman who rubs him up the wrong way. He's been burnt before by the female of the species and light oil and the tears of a thousand virgins. They just don't mix. On the hunt for a huge pink diamond for a client, Dodge is paired with Jacqueline Jacks Masters a woman out to prove she is just as tough, fast and strong as any of her male bounty hunter counterparts. She also has her own agenda regarding why she wants to bring down Mangus, jewel thief, a Russian minion of drug lord Victor Santorino, who they're hunting. In this action-packed saga, Dodge, once bitten, twice shy, may not trust women as far as he can throw them, but he sure loves the look of this sexy brunette who's causing alarm bells to start ringing in his head. Can these two put away their disdain for each other long enough to bring down Mangus and retrieve the jewel? PJ Fiella is an American author born in the suburb of St. Louis, Missouri. Spending many summers in Kentucky with her grandmother Ruth was her fondest childhood memories. At the age of 13, her family moved to Wisconsin to learn to farm. Now married with four children and three grandchildren, and she has over 40 books in her catalogue. Narrated by Troy Duran and Rose Dioro. Troy Duran, oh my god. That dude's voice, good lord, I felt it in my lower belly, if you get what I mean. That baritone hit me in the gut like Mike Tyson. His voice is rich as well as gruff and suited the character to a T. Perfect casting and he's really great at female dialogue. Rose Diora, lovely narration, really nice voice, melodic feminine voice, was pleasant to the ears, but sweet Jesus, please. Rose, if you're ever asked to do a South African accent again, for all that is holy, please listen to Nancy Reagan and just say no. Now, if you were aiming for Eastern Europe or Ireland, then yeah, you nailed it. <laughs> The sex scenes are pleasurable, more on the milder side, but then, hey, look who's reviewing. (laughs) Perv number one here. At times, it also felt a little bit like an instructional video, and I found some of the ramblings in her inner voice while riding St. George a little bizarre. This book is more than adequate and less than substantial. Although this is a slow burn, I would have loved more character development. I found myself not caring whether they got together or not. The enemy to lovers thread I felt was a little bit thin. That could be because I'm starting on book three and I may have enjoyed it more if I'd read the previous books. Really busy in parts and needing to rewind and re-listen. There's also a joining of two of her book series, Big Three Security and Ghost, and my first in both series. So I felt a bit lost and I didn't feel any bond with any of the characters. It's a good plot and the way Jack wasn't written as a stereotypical woman in a man's world. You know, foul-mouthed, a real geezer bird trying to outman all the men. But you know what let it down? was the South African character. When an author doesn't do their research and they get vital things like how English is spoken in certain countries that you, the reader, is savvy to, it really lets the side down. It snaps you right out of that world. And as English is the national language of South Africa, they speak it fluently, not the Spanglish that was in this book. It just didn't work. And I remember thinking, is this supposed to be a black character or a white character? Because maybe she thought that all South Africans were black. Surely she's not insinuating that black people speak broken English. Here are my ratings, with one being the lowest and five being the highest. Narration, I'll give Rose a three and Troy a four. I think Troy did a much better job than Rose did, but she is still a very talented uh, narrator. The sex scenes are on the milder side, so that's a two for me. And generally, the overall thing for me with the book is a three-star read for me. A generic romance book cover, really a hot guy brooding. 
what's not to like and so that's it for eargasms thank you so much for joining me links for the books can be found below if you have read it or you've listened to it i'd love to hear your thoughts about it let's start a conversation and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe 